a year and a half now, school choice has been a hot topic across the state. And that battle is nowhere near over. Just today, the Support Our Schools campaign submitted more than 86,000 signatures for its petition drive. With the general election less than four months out, that initiative, if it makes a ballot, would allow voters to either keep or kick a law which funds private school scholarships. And if you're feeling some deja vu, that's because this is the second time the group has submitted signatures on this issue. Last summer, the Support Our Schools campaign submitted more than 117,000 signatures to let voters keep or repeal LB 753. That law gave tax credits for people who donate to private school scholarships. But after having those signatures certified by the Secretary of State, the Nebraska legislature passed a law this year, LB 1402, which devotes $10 million a year in state funds for scholarships to attend K-12 private or parochial schools. This is about rebuffing a direct attack on our rights as the citizens in this state. Support Our Schools says that the law not only denied Nebraskans their right to vote on LB 753, it also imposes a new plan to put public tax dollars toward private schools. The legislature took the unprecedented step of passing a bill explicitly to deny its voters the capacity to weigh in on a critical issue in the upcoming election. If enough signatures with this new petition are validated, it will once again be in the hands of voters. Senator Lou Ann Linehan, who authored both bills, says they allow low-income families to afford private schools, giving them a choice on where to enroll their kids. In a statement today, she said, quote, this petition drive hurts our kids by taking school choice away from families that need it most. But Support Our Schools says keeping public money in public schools will keep kids from being discriminated against by a private school. We care about all kids. We don't get to discriminate against kids because of their learning needs or because of their family situation or because of what their zip code is or because of what their religious beliefs are. We care about kids. The Secretary of State's office says it will take several weeks to verify all the signatures. That's obviously something we're going to keep following. Of course.